Cycling injury claims are different to claims involving motor vehicles. There's different liability applies and there's different considerations to take. If you're able to speak to people who stop at the scene to find out their names and numbers, it's very helpful if your lawyer can speak to them directly. It's also useful to get the name and number of any police officers who attend and it can be helpful to know as well if the body camera is being worn by the investigating officer. The footage can be really useful in establishing how the scene was at the time of the collision, who was involved. If you have a mobile phone with you, take some pictures of the layout. It's really important not to move your bike or allow the person in the car to move the vehicle until after you've at least taken some photographs of it. The positioning of vehicles after the accident can give a lot of information about the speed at which um, the collision took place, where vehicles were in relation to each other in the carriageway. If you were knocked unconscious in the accident and can't remember what happened, please don't be concerned. There's still an awful lot of things that we can do to piece together what has happened to you and help you to bring that claim. Many of the clients that I've assisted in these cases have not had any idea what happened and we've used accident reconstruction engineers, evidence gathered by the police and witness evidence to pull it together. All these things can be used to create a reconstruction of how the accident happened, the speeds involved and where everybody was. And we've used this evidence to establish that the cyclist wasn't at fault. The standard in the industry is to charge a success fee to a client for taking a case on. That's a percentage deduction from your damages for bringing your personal injury case. Cycling UK members coming to Slater and Gordon will not be charged a success fee. 